Hello there and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to use Canva to create custom header images for Google Classroom and Google Forms like this, as well as animated GIF versions like this. So grab your computer, open it up and get ready to follow along. As a reminder, educators can get access to all of the Canva Pro features for free. Head over to canva.com slash education to sign up if you haven't done so already. Let's jump into the tutorial. You're gonna open up Canva. From here, you can either start with a blank design or use a built-in template. The good news is the header size for Google Classroom and Google Forms is actually the same. So once you have one template created, you can use it for both. If you are wanting to search a pre-made template, just click in the search and type in Google Classroom header. Once you hit enter, it will bring up a bunch of different templates. You can click on them in order to preview them. And if you do wanna use one, just click customize this template. Keep in mind, you can always go in and change the fonts, the colors, the images, and more. I do wanna quickly point out the size of this header. So a lot of the templates will use a size that is 1920 by 480 pixels. Now that is a four to one ratio. As long as you use a four to one ratio, the size can vary. So you're gonna see me use different dimensions when I create a blank canvas, but the sizing will still work because it is a four to one ratio. I'm gonna go ahead and close out of this template just to show you if you do wanna start with a blank slide, you can click on create a design, choose custom size, and then you can type in your desired pixels. Personally, I always use 1600 by 400, which is that same four to one ratio. It's just much easier for me to remember. <laughs> Once you have in your dimensions, click create new design, and it's going to open up a blank canvas for you. On the left, you will notice under design, there are still some templates. So even starting with a blank slide, you can still import in a template. And of course you can search for templates from here as well. Because it is already the correct size, I could just type in like math and then pull up different math headers. So if you'd rather not start from scratch, those are some great options for you. But I do wanna show you some options for designing your own. I'm picturing my header with like a doodle background. Who wrote captions under my doodle? So I'm gonna go under elements and I'm gonna type in school doodles. I want to search specifically in the graphics and I really like this one right here. I'm gonna click to insert it and I'm gonna drag it over to the corner. I'm wanting to repeat this pattern. So my thought is I'm gonna drag it to take up about half of the size. So right there, I got that little pink guideline. And then I'm going to duplicate this. So on my keyboard, I'm gonna hold down Command and press D, cause I'm using a Mac. But if you are using a PC, it would be hold down Control and press D. That will just create an exact copy of that graphic. I'm gonna click and drag. And I'm almost thinking of like putting it in the bottom corner rather than this one's at the top. That way it just has a little bit of variance but I'm really liking how that looks. Now, knowing me, do I want a black background with white doodles or a white background with black doodles? Cause those are the only options. <laughs> we'll leave it here. And then if I change my mind later, we can, you know, alter it a little bit. Y'all know I love my rectangles. So now under shapes, I want to insert in a rectangle and actually it's popped up right there as I start typing it. I'm gonna click to add in that shape and let's give it a black fill. Okay. Yeah. I think I'm liking this design. Now I'm just going to click and drag to resize this and I'm going to move it around after I'm just trying to kind of get a, a general idea of where I want it. Ooh, 1400. That's a nice even number. Okay. I like that. And then let's make it 200. Let's go 250. Let's go a little bit taller. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So now I'm going to click and drag this rectangle so that it is centered. That looks pretty good. Now I need to insert in text boxes. So I'm gonna click on text and I'm just gonna add a heading. So this is gonna say Mrs. Emerson's. And let's make this larger. Let's go size, is 100 too big? No, that looks pretty good. 
and let's center it and I'm gonna line it up right at the top. Now that I have one text box inserted, I can easily duplicate it to get another. So once again, I'm gonna click to select it, Command D, but if you're using a PC, it would be Control D. And we're gonna type fourth grade class. Now I'm gonna select all that text by holding down Command A on my keyboard or Control A for a PC. And we're gonna change the font. I'm almost thinking of like a script font here. So y'all know I love Poppins and Poppins is a good option, but I might wanna look through just some different kind of fonts. You can look at some styles up here or I could type in script and just kind of scroll through to see what I like. Eh, don't love that. Don't love that. <laughs> that one's okay. It kind of has like a school type of look, right? That's decent, but here's a few of my favorites lately. So I like Beauty Salon Script, this one right here, but I feel like that one, the G is kind of weird. So let's try another one. I also really like Good Time Script. So I'm gonna type in Good Time, this one. Yeah, that's nice and pretty. The G is still a little funky, but we're looking better. Let's try Bunt Cake. I know I've used that one before. That one's very similar, but it's thin. I don't think I wanna use that for this. Humble Hearts is another one I've used. Decent, but I'll be honest, I think I like that good time script. So we're gonna apply that. But if you notice the G is getting cut off here at the bottom, so we're gonna shrink down the size. Let's go like 75. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And then I'm gonna line it up so it is centered. Okay, now for just a basic header that I can use for a variety of things, I can have it at the top of my Google Classroom, I can have it at the top of Google Forms that I create, maybe I have a weekly check-in that my students do and I wanted to say Mrs. Emerson's fourth grade class, I think this is a great basic header. So now I'm gonna show you how to export it and then import it into Google Classroom or Google Forms. In order to export this, I'm gonna click Share. I'm gonna to come to download, and then I can choose either JPEG or PNG. I usually leave it on PNG, and I'm gonna leave the size as is, and I don't need to check any of these options. I'm just gonna click download. It'll take a few seconds, but it is going to save it to my device. Now I can insert this into my Google Classroom or a Google Form. So I'm gonna switch over to Google Classroom. I'm gonna open up my class, and up here where the header is, I'm gonna click Customize. I'm gonna choose Upload Photo, and then I can select a photo from my computer, and here is that image. I can click Open, and then I need to resize the little frame, so I can click and drag so that it's up in the top left corner, and I'm just gonna click and drag that little square so it's down at the bottom, so it fills the entire space. I'm gonna click Select Class Theme. And now it has placed that image, I can click Save, or if I wanna change the theme color, I can. So it has defaulted to this gray color. Maybe I want it to be this light blue. Click Save. And now I have that header image up at the top and I can do the same thing to a Google form as well. So let's switch over to just a blank Google form. I can click on the customize theme button. And of course I can change the fonts, all of that, but I can upload the header where it says choose image. I'm gonna select upload, click browse, select that image file, click open. It'll take a few seconds to upload. It already has it sized appropriately, so I don't need to adjust anything. I can click done, and it's going to insert that up at the top of my form, just like so. And once again, it has changed the color to that gray, but I can always add in a custom color here by either typing in the color code or just selecting the color that I want. If I click add, it will change that color. But here's the really cool thing I wanted to share with you. Not only can you upload images as your Google Classroom or Google Form header, but you can upload GIFs as well, or GIFs as some people call it. So I'm gonna show you how to create that GIF right in Canva. So maybe I wanna add a picture of myself to this and I want my picture like kind of dancing around. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead to my brand. I already have an image of myself uploaded. So let's use this one of me in my classroom. 
and we're gonna click position and bring it to the front. Okay, now I want to remove the background. I want it to be just me holding the number four. I'm gonna click edit photo and I'm gonna choose BG remover. BG stands for background. It'll take a few seconds and I will say with most images, it does a great job of automatically detecting the background and erasing it, but you can go in here and you can erase or restore different areas if it didn't get it quite right. But I'm gonna click back. So now I have this image of myself. I'm gonna put me like over to the side and let's go ahead and just move these text boxes over like that. That way I can fill the left-hand side. I'm gonna resize myself. Try to get me as big as I can without cutting anything off. Okay, that looks pretty decent. Now, because I want myself to kind of dance back and forth, I'm going to set up the timings. So I sometimes struggle to get the timing option up here. So what I like to do is click the duplicate page and then you'll notice that timing is right here. So I'm going to set this as like 0.5 seconds and I'm gonna click apply to all pages. So now each slide is going to show up for just half a second. That's gonna create my GIF. And I want four copies of this exact same slide. So I now have four versions that are exactly the same. I'm gonna leave pages one and pages three with my image going straight up and down, but on pages two and four, I'm gonna shift it just a little bit. I'm gonna rotate it. So I'm gonna select the image on page two. I'm gonna click and drag just to tilt it a little bit. And then I'm gonna come down to page four and I'm gonna tilt it the other way. So I'm gonna tilt it like so. Now, as these play through, it's gonna just kind of toggle me back and forth. I'm going to now export this as a GIF. So let's go ahead and change the name. Let's call this header. <laughs> I'm going to click share and download just like before, but this time under file type, I'm going to select GIF. So I'm gonna scroll down just a little bit. A GIF is just a short, almost like video clip that plays on repeat with no sound. Once again, I can leave the size and I want it to have all the pages selected. I'm gonna click download. It will take a few seconds. Okay, so now that it has downloaded, I just wanna show you what this looks like. So you will notice that I just kind of dance back and forth and I could speed it up if I wanted. Maybe instead of 0.5 seconds, I could do it as 0.2 or I could have more rotations. I could duplicate additional slides and rotate it different ways, but that will be good enough for now. So in order to upload this into either Google Classroom or Google Forms, I'm gonna use the same process as before. So in Google Classroom, I'm gonna click customize upload photo, but I can do a GIF as well. I'm gonna select it from my computer. This time I'm gonna choose the header, click open. It will take a few seconds. Once again, I'm gonna to have to resize it. So I'm gonna click and drag so it takes up the whole space. Click select class theme, and I'm gonna use that dark blue because it'll match my dress. Click save. And now I have that GIF as my header. Google Forms works the same way. I'm gonna come back to the header. I'm gonna X out the previous header image, click choose image, upload, browse, select the header, click open. It is already sized correctly, click done. And now I have an animated GIF as my header within Google Forms. So that was it. Nice, short, sweet, to the point. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you're interested in other Canva videos, I do have them all together on a playlist, which I will link for you down below in the description box. But if you enjoyed this and you're excited to put it to use with your own Google Classroom and Google Forms, give the video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. As always, thank you for watching. I love you so much. Don't forget to put your positive pants on and I will catch you in the next one.